guys were watching that video, so we are up to episode two, part two of Power Rangers Unworthy. And I'm very excited for this. This is, I think, the last episode that I've seen. I haven't seen from three, from... So episode three will be, I think, the new, will be the fresh new one that I go into. Because the rest I haven't seen. This one, I like this one, but I think that this one falls, like... I think that this one is my third favourite out of the ones I've seen. Um, obviously, one as the top because it's everything. Like, I will do... A, once I'm finished with this series, I will do a ranking of the episodes of why I have them in that order. But, so far, one's my favourite because it's everything I want in a Power Rangers fan series or series, really. Uh, the way that they... Set up the set up the villain the way that they, um, the way that they use the music, the way that the characters interact, um, and the references and stuff like that. The second episode after that because uh, of Tommy uh, and that sort of stuff and how we deal with the threat of this villain. And then this is my third favorite because it's not awful, but it's one of those things where it's like this is one of the weaker episodes. There's less action. They're kind of um, this one's more plot heavy, if you know what I mean, uh, which is good for a series like this. But sometimes you do need that action in there and want them in their suits fighting. So ah, I actually they were impressed. Go so. Ready, steady, and play. Previously on Power Rangers Unworthy. Rangers, I need to speak with your words. Or... Ah! Who are? What are you? I'm the officer, the first ranger. You have all been made to buy the way of it. But if I cut it, yeah! The sixth ranger will be the first to fall. You think he's tracking us through our connection to the Morphins? If we demorph, we might be able to lose him. Let's keep moving, guys. Let's keep moving, guys. You only delay. So, I still don't get it. If we're being marked, how can the harvest still find us? Well, even if you morph, we'll have a similar connection to the morph with the electromagnetic frequency. We're a lot harder to find, but with enough time, we can still be found. That's why we stay out of overpopulated areas. We need yeah. everyone, especially our families. We need to contact the log. I'm not worried about this ARPA guy, is that? Okay, okay guys. guys. No, we're going to be arguing to completely block this out. But we may have a workaround. This, this not being dropped in. What is it? It seems to be a device capable of interdimensional travel. So, so, the command is in a pocket dimension. If we can figure its coordinates, we can make a portal and go to the command center. Really? You mad genius. Well, let's see if we can actually get to work first. Hey, Kim. Kim. What's up? I'm just. I'm, I'm, I'm so worried. worried. This, this might be the strongest thing that we've ever faced, and it's all just happening, happening so fast. fast. Everything's gonna be okay. I mean, we need even bigger bad support, right? right? Yeah. Say that three times fast. You can go past me before, you can go past me before. You know what I mean. The team's, the team's been in tighter spots. spots. You know, you know what I realized about the Rangers? What's that? 
We're unstoppable, unstoppable when we're together. together. As usual, what's the good news? You can use this little gizmo to make a portal directly to the command center. So, what's the bad news? The battery's dead. You can give it a jump start, but we'll have to use the power on Morphers to do it. We can instantly alert the Arbor to our location, like in the alley. And worst news? It'll take a few minutes after the jump for the device to be fully operational. So, so we have to hold off the Arbor long enough for the portal to open. It'll be our only way out. We can do it. I know, I know we can. Same the same way we did against Lokar. Lokar. The, same the same way we did against Zed. The same, the same way, way we always do. As a, as a team. Our uh, uh, Rangers! Man, so, so when do we start? It might be better to take initiative to start now rather than wait and be part of guard later. So, now. Right now. Now? Yeah, you should have done it before. Okay, give me this. And once you have to start, go take out your morphers. More being in close proximity to the device should jumpstart with our residual energy. Ready? Morph attack! Zagazor! That's on! Third axle! Third attack! Shaving from the tiger! Tyrannosaurus! Guys! I, I think it's work! King? King? Uh, that was quicker than expected. This doesn't look like command center, you guys. Power Billy, you might want to double check those coordinates. Affirmative. No matter how far you run, no matter where you try to hide, there is no escaping fate. For Get a new pitch, pal, because we are buying. Did you do this? Where are we? How did you bring us here? The Morphin Grid itself. It brought you here in the void between us. This Billy, what's the status on that portal back to Zordon? Somehow you hijacked a jump plane again in the alley. But I think I've managed to override override. The portal's still our way out. We just need to stall him long enough for it to recharge. But your overconfidence will be your demise. That's what you think. Rangers, ready! Power Rangers! Hold them off until the portal opens! No
Such an amazing experiment too far again, that fight. Okay, it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be done so many different ways. Oh, that's it? Jeez, man. Jeez. Okay. Okay, maybe I have seen more than I thought. So, a few thoughts there. One. What the hell? Um, and two, the other thing that I really like about this series is that it gives us a new villain that is threatening in a way that Rita and Zed and Goldar and stuff wasn't. And also, what I found interesting about, like they set up in the first episode about Tommy coming in because Kimberly was texting Tommy in the first episode and in the second episode we get introduced to Tommy and then it's interesting that we actually got into not a lot but more than I expected for a gay relationship from Power Rangers because you actually have like that kind of delved into this with Becky G's Trini in the 2017 movie 
but we really deep, uh, deep dug more into their relationship and how much they've been through together in just basically two episodes. Uh, well, I guess one episode is between the two parts. But, yeah, I mean, it's shocking. Because, like, Power, there's so many different versions of Power Rangers that, like, something new can happen in each, whether if it's a fan series or a main universe or whatever. Something new can always happen. So it's kind of shocking that you kind of have something like this but you get to actually explore a gay relationship in Power Rangers that you never would have expected. And also, I think that this cast does a really good job. I think that I always found it interesting that they kind of mix the Rocky and Adam with the, uh, with like the Billy, Trini, Kim, Kimberly and Tommy aspect and not using Jason and Zach, but instead switch into Rocky and Adam. I thought that, that was interesting. But this series is actually really, really good. I'm really excited to get into the next episode. So guys, please hit the like down button down below. If you haven't already subscribe, also hit the little bell icon to get enough of future videos that I make. I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Bye. Hey there. Subscribe to my channel. And also press this bell icon.